Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how we can use the power clip option with grouped objects. So let's get started. So I have imported this image over here and as you can see or as we all know that if you use power clip option, so I will just right click on the image and use power clip inside and if I click on any object, the image will be inserted into that particular object. So this we all know but what if i want this same image in all the all the objects at one time so we can simply group these objects press ctrl g or you can simply right click and you can group press group or you can go to object and you can simply go to group and group so i will click over here so these objects are now in a single group so if i go to power clip right click power clip and if i click on any of the objects then the entire image will be inserted into all the objects because all the objects are now one group so using this option we can re create really cool effects as you can see and similarly if you want to edit this you can use the same power clip option edit and if you let's say if you want to change the position of the image if you want to resize the image you can do it just like the usual power clip option and if you want to finish it finish like this and again if you want to change position of any of the objects you can simply press ctrl or command and click and you can always change the position of the objects any of the object and you can also change the size if you want so using this option as i said earlier we can create some really cool designs i will take another example so let's say i create another group so i will take hexagon and i am creating any random shapes so let's say i create i'll keep the objects closer so that the image is properly visible So I will use the arrow keys so let's say so I have created this shape this is a random group of objects so again if I I'll go inside copy and paste and again if I use the power clip option it will only get inserted into a single object but if i create a group group then it will be inserted into all the objects at the same time and again if i want to change the position you can simply go here and can change the position you can change or resize the object like this so using these two options first power clip and group option we can create really cool effects or cool designs and usually this can be seen in the magazine designs and book cover designs or pamphlet designs uh, the, the, these kind of designs can be seen so you can also create these kinds of design using power clip and group option so i hope you like this video if you do please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers